Hey guys, welcome back to um, this backup tutorial. I hope you've watched the first video where I showed you exactly where you could find your auto recovered files uh, in FL Studio 20 because it's very different from the way it was in FL Studio 12 or FL Studio 11. Now, um, what I showed you was that the, uh, the files were auto dropped under your documents folder, then you had um, an image line folder underneath you had FL Studio and stuff like that. But it's possible that on your machine, it will be completely different from mine. The easy way that you can find your backups or the folder itself is simple. Just head over to the find smart find icon right here. You, you click on this and then you type backup. So when I type backup, it's going to direct me to this section here. I click on that and then it expands and I can see all my um, my backup files with FL Studio 20. So uh, keep in mind, you will not see the backup files from the backup folder uh, under FL Studio 12. There are two different folders here. So it's interesting, it's cool. I can see all the files and then I can uh, choose to open them. But let's say I want to access that specific folder. So what I can do simply is right click on this and I'm on Windows here, so unfortunately I can't really um, I can't really guide Mac users, but then I think it's going to be something similar. But for Windows users, what you can do is just right click, and then you see the Windows shell menu here. So it's changing to that menu here, and then when you click on properties, then you have access to more information about this file. What we want to access is the path to that file. So you can either go to detail, but then I don't know, here it's kind of cut off. So it's best to go under the security tab and here you see exactly where it is. So you have the, the C drive, then you have the users folder. That's my account, Isaac. Then you have documents folder underneath image line, data, FL Studio, projects, backup. And here is the file exactly. So I can easily follow that path. I've just uh, followed this, as they said, this path, and it's exactly what they have here. So let me uh, drop this a little bit. You can see here I have emotions, new stuff over everything at 1126, and here is the, exactly the same thing. So it's actually just pulling the information from this folder right here. Um, it's best not to mess around, but I just want to show you that if, for instance, I had just pasted this again, copy, you can see it appears here again, copy. If I was to paste this again, copy number two, then you see copy number two here. Now, if I delete this from this folder, then both files are gone. So they actually synchronize, okay? So uh, that's how it works. One way, if you want to access your files, just head over to this backup section. But if you want to know the exact path, um, switch over to the Windows shell menu and then access the properties of the file and go over to your security tab. So that's how you find uh, where you where your backups are created. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. I'll catch you next time.